Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did an exercise, so we are placing some um, timber patterns on the wall using a um, beam system. So today we are going to try uh, try to place some uh, similar um, patterns but, uh, on a curved wall. Okay, so let's start. First I'm going to just create a project, so and then WA I'll just create a wall, maybe a couple of walls. Okay, so now let's go to 3D view and these are the walls. So now let's place some uh, patterns. So um, there are a few different ways to do it. So first one, the, uh, we can use curtain wall. So let's just place a curtain wall. So we can start from maybe uh, from this storefront, edit type, duplicate, I'll just call it new. Okay, so there are a few settings we need to do. So uh, we're going to place vertical one. So I'll turn off this uh, horizontal one. For the vertical, I'm going to place, um, maybe I'll use maximum spacing. Let's type in 200. And then uh, I'll turn off the border, the border, uh, border Morning for the horizontal, horizontal. Maybe I turn off all the horizontal board, uh, uh, And then another thing we need to do is for the curtain panel. So currently it's none, but it doesn't mean there's nothing. It means there will be a system panel. So if I have this none, so I'll show you. So if I click OK and play, pick this line, I'll just pick this um, face of the wall. And you will see this is a curtain wall, and but you will see this panel. So this is a curtain panel, system panel. So you can't delete it. You can't delete it. And what you can do is you can load a empty pan empty panel. So let's go to it. So insert load family. So this is under your curtain wall panel. So under your red folder and go curtain wall panel. So this is the one empty panel and then open. So now you can select your curtain wall, edit type and change the curtain panel from none to um, empty panel. So now if you click apply, okay. So now you will see there's, there's no more curtain panel left, okay. But this, um, this limitation for this only works if the panel is rectangular shape. So if you, if you cut, if, if you, for example, if you cut, um, I'll just show you. So if you draw a, a new curtain wall, if it's straight, that's fine. But if you edit profile, so let's uh, just make it not rectangular shape and it won't work. So see, Robert will tell you, ah, I can't do this. And you need to delete all this empty panel. And then, uh, which means you uh, re will replace all these panel with system panel. See, system panel. Okay, so, but um, yeah, if you still want to make them empty, at you can still you can you still can so you can just edit in place and uncheck the available and finish okay but you need to do it manually um, okay so let's delete this one and and also you will see the off this uh, probably it's easier so instead of you know offset the whole curtain wall of course you can do that but you can also offset the mullion so for example I'll unpin this curtain uh, mullion and edit type duplicate. I'm going to just rename it um, so offset. Okay, so offset 75 millimeter. So okay, and here I'm going to type. I, I think should be negative 75. Let's try and click OK. Yeah, good. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just pin it back, which will change back to the previous one. So this type. And then I'll just change the setting of this mullion, so, uh, oh, sorry, of this uh, curtain wall to all these mullions with offset. Okay, so apply. Okay, that's it. 
So now I can just place another one. So CS creates similar and pick this wall and it will create this. And looks like we need to yeah, this is some setting here. You can just have a play. So see uh, this one maybe. Yeah, to uh, we'll change the uh, change it slightly, but yeah, but if you maybe just delete it, oh, yeah, delete it. Okay, and that that's it. So that's the first method. You couldn't wall. Okay, so let's just delete this. Delete this. And of course, if you don't want to uh, pick, you can also Control C and paste in same place. But I think you should you should change the change the location line first before you paste. So I'm going to try this. Let's try finish line exterior. Uh, looks like this is interior. So change this to interior. Yep. So on this face, Control C place in this align to same place and change it to a uh, new okay so see so you can change it to interior control C paste in same place change it to new that's it okay so this is the first method so oops sorry so we use we used a uh, curtain wall so now let's try the second one. So the second one, let's try curtain system. Okay, but before we place curtain system, we won't be able to pick place curtain system on walls. So we need to have some uh, either a mass or generic model. So let's quickly create model in place, a uh, generic model. So click OK, OK. So now I'm just going to use um, Extrusion pick line, so I'm going to pick pick, and maybe uh, of course for generic for extrusion you, you need a closed uh, profile. So finish, drag this up to match the height. So finish this. So now I'll just hh -h the wall. So now we have this generic model, right? To match those two wall, so we can go create a curtain system. Curtain systems are very similar to curtain wall, so you will see all the settings. So we can just go edit type and you will see it's very, very similar to um, curtain wall. So let's just try, I'm not sure which one's grid one, which one's grid two. So I'll just try, try this one first. So, and then for grid one, so grid two, I'm going to just change it to now. For grid one, I'm going to use maximum spacing 200 again, and also curtain panel as well. I'm going to use the empty. Apply, OK, pick, oh sorry, you need to pick a face. So pick this face and pick this face, for example, and create a system. So now you will see it uh, looks like it's on the other side. <laughs> Um, that that's that's okay. So we can. So for example, I'll just create a diff, a, another. So this time I'm going to call it. Um, yeah. Yeah. This one actually this one should be a negative seventy. Oh, sorry. I'll rename this one. So seventy five negative, and I'll just duplicate a new one. Call it seventy five, and this one change to seventy five, and okay. So now I'm going to ping this back and then select this curtain system. Okay, so edit type, change this to 75, 75, and 75. Apply, okay, and that's it. Okay, so it's very similar to um, curtain wall. You sh uh, just have a play. There should be some difference between these two. So, okay. So yeah, because um, for this one, once you change the, so once you change the the general model, and then you can go back to the curtain system to update. So it will automatically match your general model or mass. You can also use mass as well. You can place curtain system on mass as well. Okay, 
So now let's I'll just delete 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 the generic model. I'll delete this current system. So okay. So now let's try um, something different. So 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 for curtain system you can use mass or generic model but so now let's try mass okay so so let's create a model in place mass okay so for this mass I'm going to um, I'm going to just pick the face okay so I'm going to pick the face because for mass you don't need to have a closed uh, profile you can you can only or you can um, create some face from lines okay so for example these two lines you can create form and uh, that's it so see this is the form if I hi isolate so you will see this is the mass so only face to face so from these two if I finish mass let's try the curtain system again okay so curtain system yeah, you can pick these two face, create. Okay, good. So now, but uh, I'm going to use different method again. Okay, so so this time let's go back to this mass and select select these two face, and we can use divided surface. Okay, so now we can change all the the grids. So for example. Uh, I'll just do this one. Okay, so select this face. So I think I'm not sure which one. If we can, you can use this one as well. If you want to turn off uh, one grid, you can just just do this one. So see, it come now. So uh, for the vertical, um, let's try spacing 200. Okay, yeah, and it looks like you can also do. A degrees yeah that's that's nice you know let's change it back so okay so now you have again you have to, uh, different options for uh, to, to do it so the fir uh, now first option you can use um, adaptive family okay so you can use adaptive family so for example you can turn on the nodes and then place adaptive family so from here to here okay so i'll quick i'll very quickly show you so you can create a family and generic adaptive and you can place two points and make them adaptive create a spline through them and make it reference line and then you can create place a point on it and you can place a reference uh, profile Draw on work plan, set work plan, and create it here. So for example, I'll just um, for, uh, make it 150 by by 50. So and then just need to move it to. So for, I'll just move it here. And so now select it. And if you want to, you can add dimensions and parameters. But for this one, I'll just quickly show you. So um, I'll just place copy another profile and create a form. So now this is it. And you can select one of the point to type in zero and the other one here. So let's change to wireframe WF and then place it on a one. So which is the other end. So now that's it. You can uh, give it a material or parameter. Okay. So now load this into this, and then you can place it. So from the top to the bottom, and then that's one of the pattern, and then repeat, and that's it. Okay. So this is uh, the first option. Okay, so let me just delete this one. Let me turn off these nodes. So uh, I'll show you the second option. So second option is, so you can also use um, pattern-based family. 
Okay, so pattern-based families actually it's very very similar to adaptive. So these are actually adaptive points and um, so sorry let's go back so just imagine so one two three four these are the four points so you just need to do, uh, model something so for example if I um I, we can just model one on this on this so if I um, even actually let's just place this one so this adaptive point uh, a family I'm going to pl place this adaptive family into this um, pattern based okay so nest this family into this family so I'm going to draw it here and then same I'm going to pick this point and type in one and pick this point top in zero so now if I load once again load this into the project and then go to this pattern change this pattern to this and then you will see it will automatically place it's very similar to adapting family okay so once again let's try this one um, so turn off the u grids and change the spacing 200 change the pattern to family 2 that's it and it looks like it's on the other side of the, uh, how do i do it uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> how how do I swap? Um, oh, maybe you can try this. Try mirror flip. Flip. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So that's it. So um, let's um, recap. So we we tried curtain wall. We tried curtain system, and we tried adaptive family and also pattern-based family. So there must be some other um, method as well. So even you can create um, like, or you can just model one and array or, yeah. Um, okay, so that's it. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.